everybody, this is Glenda and Buster with AKA GK for Raylan, a friendly community. And our friendly community welcomes you. What was that all about? I don't know, it's Friday the 13th. I thought it'd be weird. Oh, uh, I really don't fall. I don't fall for this whole Friday the Thirteenth bad luck stuff any more than I do Leprechaun luck or any of that. But it is National Skeptics Day, so that fits. You're skeptical about Friday the Thirteenth. I'm not skeptical that it is Friday the Thirteenth. I'm step skeptical, I just plain don't believe, in this superstition that Friday the 13th is bad luck. Or that the number 13 is bad luck. Why? Well, well, whatever made it bad luck in the first place? I don't know. For one thing, the number 13 represents a baker's dozen. That's good. Baker's dozen? Yeah, 12 is a dozen, and yet Baker's dozen is they add one more just for being nice, just to be nice. And I have a son-in-law who's very nice, who was born on Friday the 13th. Well, that sounds good. Doesn't sound like a bad luck day for you guys. Nope. Not as far as I can remember. I was... <laughs> Watching live PD on a and &E, it's, it's one of my favorite things. And boy, they usually have some really weird stuff going on. And tonight was no different. <laughs> they had some, uh, some domestic disputes. They have drunks that don't want to stop talking. They have people who are running away, who are only, be it, they're only wanted for Violation of probation or something. Not parole, probation. It's like, come on, you'll do a night in and, you know, whatever they do. But it's not going to be like a life sentence or nothing. Nope. I'm not trying to make light of it. It's not a good thing. It's, and it, but it's worse to run from it. They will catch you. It's, Unless you're going to run the rest of your life. That don't make sense. Anyway. But. Let's get off of that. It is also. See I went to the calendar. But for those of you who do believe that Friday the 13th is bad luck. That's fine. You go right on ahead. Here's a good one. Blame someone else day. That's a pretty good one. I'll blame it on Buster. What? Oh, you got high and shrill there. You ain't blaming nothing on me. Wow. That was quite a range. How many octaves do you suppose that was? <laughs> I'm teasing you. Not funny. Okay. Then we can blame it on Joe. He's in bed. So he don't care much. That's not fair either. Well, that's... <laughs> what are we blaming on him anyway? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> that's just it. We could be blaming him for being nice and sweet. Everybody calls him Sweet Joe for a reason. Okay. <laughs> It's Peach Cobbler Day. I like Peach Cobbler, don't you? I never tried it. It's not in the doggy nibbles. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. We haven't had any for a while. I used to make Peach Cobbler. Wonder if I could make it in a microwave. Hmm. 
I'd have to find the recipe. I haven't made it in so long. Um, let's see. How do I get this whole day? It's also Scrabble Day. I like Scrabble. What's Scramble? No, not Scramble. Scramble is something you do to eggs. Scrabble is a game. Actually, it is a brand name of a word game. But it's kind of like a crossword puzzle. Except you can add to other people's words. It's it's a table game. It's a game. About words. With words. Like weird word world. Let's go with that. Okay. And it's Thomas Jefferson Day. You know what? What? What number president was he? <laughs> I don't remember. If anybody remembers what president Thomas Jefferson was, I don't remember what his number is. I do know he was a president. <laughs> uh, Washington was the first. Lincoln was the 16th. Hmm, like they kind of get muddled after that. Well, you're sure not up on your American history. Did you forget what country you were in? Or continent? No, stalled. <laughs> Just brain stalled. Hey, there's a good one. Some, if I don't answer somebody right, they are quickly. Yeah. What was that? I'm tying the knot in my tongue. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm just not. I'm just, I'm tying, I'm tying. Uh, now I'm un unlocking my lips or something. My words are not coming out right. <laughs> Somebody scrambled my brain. No. <sighs> Oh, we were talking about Thomas Jefferson, and I forgot all about what my what my mouth got all screwed up over, and my tongue. But anyway, okay, so we don't know what number President Thomas Jefferson was, but he was a long time ago. Let's see. We've got on Mount Rushmore. There's Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, and Teddy Roosevelt, right? You look fine out. Okay. I haven't been in this life long as you have. I haven't been alive very long at all. You Wow, you're acting all Friday the 13th, that's for sure. What got into you? I don't know. Angry Leprechaun? Yeah, they're still showing those movies on sci-fi, aren't they? <laughs> Gets a little old after a while. But that's just my... Some people like them, I guess. Otherwise, they wouldn't be showing them. It must be. Anyway, everybody has their own taste. There was some movie on night we were watching. I have no idea what the name was. And we don't have, with this system, well, we don't have the receiver or the DVR. And we don't have the information button just tells you what channel you're on. So I don't know the name of the movie, but it's one you would not want your children to watch. But it was weird. And even though, you know, it's probably not good for you to watch, you're laughing so hard and you're, you just, what's going to happen to these Goofs next, it's kind of slapstick on gunpoint. Did you just say that? Yes, I did, because <laughs> they had all kinds of stuff going on. All kinds of bad stuff. But they were, it, it was slapstick. It was ridiculous. Anyway, 
but it wasn't in, I mean, they weren't in the United States. They were trying to keep out of trouble in a foreign country where they had caused all kinds, or they didn't know what they had done. And it was a bunch of guys, of course. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if that gets anybody in a tiff. Okay. There's a lot of wonderful guys. And besides, you're a dog guy. So, oh, there's Sweet Joe. There's Sweet Buster. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of sweet guys out there. But if this had been girls in the movie, I don't know. Yeah, it probably would have been just as ridiculous and funny, but a whole different script. Well, obviously. Why are we still talking about this? We're running out of time. Oh, I don't know. You're talking. She's talking. No fooling you. Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. <laughs> but let's see, was I looking at Friday the 13th or was I looking at Friday at, uh, let's see. Yep, that was Friday the 13th and there was not one thing about bad luck on there. But for the 14th, I may have to do some editing after all. Baby massage day. There's a lot more people doing baby massages. Children with alopecia day. Oh, that's sad. They don't, they're don't. they losing their hair. Alopecia is hair loss. My nephew started losing his hair very young. He was, I mean, he's bald on top. I didn't want to mention that one. International Moment of Laughter Day for the 14th. That looks good to me. Look up at the Sky Day. National Dolphin Day. Dolphin Day. Pathologist Assistant Day. Wow. You can have a day for about anything. <sighs> Reach as high as you can day. What's up there? Monos. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. And I don't know. Have a good laugh. Read as high as you can. Well, I'm sorry. I edited that out because, and I put it back in because that's the face you usually don't see because I take it off of the front. That's what I usually look like when I'm first turning on the camera. <laughs> Love you all.